move on to our next battle here. We'll finish out Love and Lick Lighter as Schlegel and Rye O'Connor. So Schlegel really, uh, really throwing down in uh, in qualifying. He got a, he qualified 13th. Rye O'Connor qualifying 20th. He's uh, he's pretty pumped to be here. I know he's uh, he's he's feeling the flow, but he's going against Schlegel, who's uh, definitely proven. Look at that, Alex Schlegel tapping the wall. You can see just barely upsetting the vehicle, but stays in it in that Drift HQ S13. Ryo Connor, the MFR 350C. You can see he's kind of struggling to keep up with Schlegel, but Schlegel taking a shallower line on that second inside zone, or excuse me, second outside zone, and across the finish line goes Schlegel. So. Both of them having some moments of greatness. Schlegel really high on the bank. He's watching, he taps, and gets out of shape very quickly. He corrects it, though. Yeah, Schlegel gave himself a really uh, great opportunity here to kind of close the door early with a tremendous lead run on the bank. Just one little minor adjustment, but he leaves the door open a little bit on the second half of the run. Obviously, we see the separation here between the two drivers, but as you said, Jared, Schlegel, if he just got out deep to that outside zone, number two, it would have been a much more, I think, lights out, much more lights out kind of feeling uh, going into the next run. But he does leave the door open a little bit there. So that's an opportunity for O'Connor to better the, the, the run in his lead position on that section of the course. Now, of, of course, Schlegel has an opportunity here to, to, as you said, shut the door by keeping proximity on and it'll be game over. But there are a few open doors here that both people can kind of take advantage of. All right, all right. Uh, as we uh... all right, so uh, as we are now alternating the order here, as Rye O'Connor and Schlegel. and Rye O'Connor will lead in that MFR 350Z Schlegel will give chase. And uh, like you said, Ryan, uh, if Schlegel would have delivered on that second outside zone, I think that would have been a lot, little left-right hook, right? But uh, unfortunately, just a little, ah. All right, he dodged a little bit. He glanced him. All right, so uh, I got to think that Ryle Connor is going to throw it down, but uh, you can see he does. Oh, works it. Stays, whoa, mid to, and then throws it up high right there towards the end. But Schlegel keeps the composure, dipping and bathing in that smoke. He's got a bit of a bathtub there. But uh, no soap on Europa involved here, all just smoke soap as Ryan O'Connor exceeds that line. Schlegel did a good job there, all things considered, because we saw Rye uh, about three quarters of the way up the bank and then went high towards the end, and that could get very precarious. Yeah, and we saw O'Connor make another mistake on the last outside zone, going more than two tires, or, or at least two tires up on the bank. The judges definitely don't want to see that. As you said, Jared, Schlegel a bit more aggressive in the chase position. You can see O'Connor right there almost made a mistake going into the wall. Schlegel makes a good adjustment in the chase position to try to avoid any kind of collision or contact. Right here, this is where O'Connor had a huge opportunity to kind of pull away as Schlegel was on this lower line. But you can see he does go up off the course a little bit, uh, giving maybe a little bit of an advantage back there. So good back and forth battle. Both drivers kind of in that feeling out process. You know, like two fighters trying to figure out what each driver is going to do. There's that mistake there from O'Connor out front and a good bit of defensive driving from Schlegel in the chase position not to ram into him at that section. We've seen a lot of accidents there, but Schlegel makes a pretty sizable mistake on inside clip number two. So the back and forth aspect of this battle is really about the lesser of the mistakes. Yep, yep. All right, so let's see uh, what we got here. The outcome between O'Connor and Schlegel. Schlegel definitely, uh, like I said, delivered in. It, it, it is about just composure overall. You know, you could see um, maybe Rye just just with his debut here in the Link Engine Management Prospect Championship, just, you know, gaining some confidence, earning, you know, earning the right to be here. And he definitely does. And you can see, you can see he has some moments, but uh, unfortunately for him, he is knocked out. So we'll have to see him in English Town at round two of that Link ECU Prospect Championship. But uh, Alex Schlegel in that Drift HQ S13 gets the win. Schlegel will move on. Throw it down to Lorette, who is with the Drift HQ S13 driver, Alex Schlegel. Alex Schlegel told me that things are going well for him, but 
There is some drama and some repairs that you had to make. What's going on? Yes, ma'am. So we were coming off the bank uh, pretty hard, and it slapped the suspension very violently when we come onto the flat. And during the last run, my wheel was doing this thing. It turns out the traction rod bracket had actually broke. Uh, so we repaired it with a weld, so we're good to go now. But um, yeah, we didn't have a time to do an alignment or anything, so we're just going to see how it does. Alex, thanks so much. My pleasure. Jared. Man, risk it for the biscuit. And, uh, and it's funny because uh, I made the comment yesterday in, uh, in qualifying about uh, dumps like a truck because he just slammed that thing down and eventually, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to cause some damage. And that's exactly what happened for Alex Schlegel. So not lining up, but uh, he's got to bring it because he's going against Josh Love, who finished really well last year. We saw him on the podium and uh, he is a fierce competitor. But Schlegel, obviously a talented driver. So uh, Josh Love will lead. He's our number four qualifier. Alex Schlegel qualified 13th. Let's see what Love's got out front. Love's a big, uh, big Grateful Dead fan, so I think he'd appreciate the, uh, the noodling going on here of our events as Josh Love high on the bank at Schlegel. Talked about uh, talk about that repair that he made, and that seems to be working out so far. Ooh, almost comes unbound just as I say that. And Josh Love ripping through right now. And handles it across the finish line. Love and Schlegel. Oh, and exit stage left. Look out. Runaway tire. Whose is that? And that would be, uh, I believe that is, is that Schlegel's? Yeah, that is back oh, left man. of Schlegel. So, unfortunately for Schlegel, it's not the broken part that uh, that ends his day. That'll be a, that'll, be, he can't finish. DNF. Yeah, I mean, we'll talk through this uh, either way, just because it was a really fun battle to watch with Schlegel putting some pressure on the big bank, but Love, Getting more consistent as the event goes on. He made a little bit of a mistake there at inside foot too, but look at the gap here that was able to be established. He's not running away. He's keeping everything together. And then let's see if we can see where Schlegel loses the tire. It looks like on the transition back around, it must have come off on the jump like we've seen a lot of the guys do. And then it kind of just carries around loosely until they turn it back around past the finish line. And so unfortunately that is going to be a uh, game ender there for Alex Schlegel. And Josh Love is going to be taking his final run here as he moves on into the grade eight. All right, there is Josh Love, Alex Schlegel. Uh, Alex still got a smile on his face. I can see it. He knows uh, He knows he's a competitor. Uh, and, and again, just I'm looking forward to seeing him in New Jersey. But Josh Love, feeling the love as he moves on into the great eight.